Today we will be completing the candle lab for our virtual chemistry lab. If you have not been able to be in the lab and you are 100% virtual or you are um, this, we're unable to make our most recent lab, this handout is located on Canvas. I did link it um, into our modules and it's under our lecture, so you should be able to access this. You will open the PDF document on Notability and complete it by filling it in there and then submitting a file. If you cannot do that or you are having technology issues, I do implore you to write down all of your information on a separate sheet of paper and submit it via text box on Canvas. I did place there so that way we were prepared in case we needed a change. Um, I will be going through each of these step by step and you will be recording the data. I know these labs are a little untraditional, however, I will show you the numbers and the data that you're collecting. I will not tell you. You will be recording it and then you will answer your lab analysis questions. I'm going to go over a couple of the steps with you and so we'll complete it together as we move on. Um, so I will switch my camera and next thing that you will see is the lab station. With this lab specifically, we are going to be using a couple um, tools and instruments in the lab. Um, but before I get into the procedure portion, I do ask that you complete what the purpose is, what the identification of our independent and our dependent variable is, and then I ask that you also make a prediction. When you complete with the independent and the dependent variable, there are two variables that you can choose from and they are highlighted in our question. I want you to understand the relationship between the mass of a candle and the length of time it burns. Time and mass are our two variables that we are using. When you complete the independent dependent variable and you select it in, you will be graphing where your independent is your x-axis and your y value is your dependent variable. When you fill out the table, your um, x-axis will be in the left-hand column and your y-axis will be in the right-hand column and you will be completing a graph. So please pause this video and fill out the purpose, what you believe the two variables are for the independent and dependent, which is which, and what the prediction of the relationship between the variables is. So please pause this video and then we'll get back and talk about the procedure in a moment. Now I will go step by step about the procedure for this lab that you will see followed. Our first step always is to collect the supplies. Our supplies are a mass balance, a candle, a weigh boat, a timer, a lighter, and a ruler for when we make our best fit line. I already have those prepared and so that step is complete. Our next step is that we need to zero out our mass balance with the weigh boat. We need to have the weigh boat be a mass of zero so we can get an accurate measurement for our candle. Next is find the starting mass of the candle. This will represent our time zero. We will then start our lighter and we will light the candle and then we will begin our timer. And finally, every 60 seconds, we will record the mass of the candle until six minutes has passed. So first things first, we have our supplies gathered and I have my mass balance. I hit the power button to turn it on and I make sure it's in grams before I start. I place my weigh boat in our mass balance and I notice it has weight. I hit the T button to clear it out. I'm also setting the timer here so we can track every time we need a measurement. Here is the starting mass of my candle. Please record that in your candle lab. I'm going to light the candle here in a moment. However, I want to preface something. Every minute and a half, this will change and turn off for me. And so I'm going to hit this M button to change the mode of measurement, just so I can reset it every like minute and a half. So I want you to know light the candle. 
and begin my timer. One minute has now passed, so record this mass under your one minute or 60 seconds. Two minutes has passed, so record your mass. Three minutes has passed, so record this mass. Four minutes has passed.
five minutes has passed. One more minute and that is our last measurement. And that is six minutes. So record this as your final mass. I'm going to blow the candle out. You will complete by making a graph. As a reminder, your Y is your dependent, and your X will be your independent variables. Oh, I spelled that wrong, so sorry. When you do this and this, if you find it's easier to make a break and hop maybe to 27 and go by 0.1, that's fine as long as you indicate it here and you start zero down there. For the um, time, make sure that you do zero and move on. You then have two questions to complete and these fill in the blanks. And that's all I have for lab analysis for you. So once you complete, turn this into Canvas and you are ready to go. Have a wonderful day.